I'm Dr. Samuel Nanayal Simpson. Uh, I'm the board chairman for, of the largest uh, credit union in Ghana in terms of assets, and the most viable credit union, the Irish University of Ghana Cooperative Credit Union. Uh, I must say that I'm doing this job on part time basis because I'm a full time employee of the University of Ghana and currently the head of the department of accounting and senior lecturer. I must, I must say that uh, one of the major, let me say, uh, secrets has to do with, let's say, the diversity of, of individuals when it comes to management of the credit union. Uh, we have various constituents, uh, junior staff, senior staff, and senior members. Uh, bringing the uh, various expertise, uh, people in the field of accounting, corporate governance, finance, marketing, you know, psychology and so on and so forth. So I, I believe that it's more of like the diversity, you know, of expertise that, that we bring on board in addition to that. I must say that we also have committed and dedicated staff uh they are they are also well trained uh i can say that i mean they have their professional quality they have their academic qualifications uh, we do send them to trainings you know locally uh, externally and i must say that including some of the trainings that core actually offers which we all participate and i guess these are some of the let's say our secrets that has brought us this far They probably need to come, those with I mean, that kind of perception need to come to University of Ghana, uh, Cooperative Credit Union, because I can say that virtually all members, all members uh, have their bank accounts and, and they still save here uh, and they still take facilities. But even up to their own vice chancellor, you know, so I think that is better than Arenos, you know. Uh, Impression. Uh, I don't. I don't think uh, credit union. Uh, I. I think that probably those those people do not understand uh, what what credit union is, is all about. I must say, like it is. It is said. Uh, maybe typically in your, in, your, in a home. When, when children are there doing their own thing, you don't have somebody playing an oversight, you know, responsibility or role. What may happen is that there could be chaos. So for me, I see the role of CoA uh, kind of guiding us uh, not to be doing everything and anything so that we achieve the intended purpose of uh, credit union which we will call achieve and show go congruence. We are doing different things, but ultimately we should achieve the overall purpose and ultimate objective of uh, what credit union stands for. So for me, for the, the period that I have, I have been a credit union, I've seen that CoA has been actually doing this particular role diligently, you know, with, with all its, I mean, the constraints and limitations, they have been doing that, you know, effectively uh, uh, so far. I will start first of all with the uh, education and training programs. You know, certainly uh, I would say that it's one of its, uh, one of its kind. Um, yes, my background is in the area of, you know, accounting, I do corporate governance issues. When I joined Credit Union and I attended one of the training, I realized that, look, I, I knew nothing, you know, when it comes to, because some of the principles that you know in public sector, in the private sector, may not necessarily be applicable. So 
I see the credit union uh, as as a unique, you know, kind of sector, and and the training that you know Qua organizes, you know, with 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 I mean experienced resource persons. I must say that that has really really helped, you know, a number of us, you know, seven of us, I mean various committees and boards uh, of the uh, the member union. I must also say that. Well, I'm aware of, of some other products, uh, this uh, central finance, you know, uh, facility, which among other things to kind of uh, bail us when we are hot, you know, uh, what they call end of last resort. When you are hot, you know, you get to and that, you know, I'm also aware of some of the, uh, you know, insurance, you know, products in the form of the risk management program and the pension. You know that this for me i think they are all all, all uh, let's say products and services that uh, i would say that typically even, even if you look at the uh, the central bank maybe the land of last stock be there but the other services are missing and these are notable let's say uh, uh, activity from uh, uh, from the core I, I, I agree with you. Um, there are areas Kua, Kua could do more. Uh, maybe I think this this concept of uh, 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 concept of credit union, I think they perhaps need to intensify education, education, education. Because you know, remember you asked this question. You know, the assertion that is is for the bank and so on and so forth. I think that the stronger and core need to do a lot more. Uh, it is also important that you know the concept of credit union is not seen as just doling out money or humanitarian services, but it should be seen more as a social enterprise. Okay, in a sense that look, let's solve those social problems, but we should do that commercially because you must survive financially before you can do some of these things. So I think we need to highlight that. Uh, the member uh, union, they are their expertise, you know, all of us. So again, want to see Kua getting them, you know, involved to do some of the things. Where where I sit, um, let's say a credit union in educational educational institution, I believe that maybe Kua want to do something instead of probably engaging a, a consultant, you know, to do. Why not? They can come to. A university setting where you have a credit union, and sometimes all these things could be done at a highly subsidized, I'm not saying for free, highly subsidized rate. We can do the research and we can we can offer some of these things. In fact, that said, I must say I was I was excited when I was invited to be one of the resource persons in the recently organized you know, chairman you know, conference, which for me was good because look, uh, we consultants, you know. Which, which was good. I, I engage others and, and with others, and I also brought my expertise, you know, to bear. Uh, I would say yes. Uh, when it comes to the uh, corporate social responsibilities, you know, I, I I think that they should be more strategic, uh, and we shouldn't see it as uh, just a normal donation. But we should deliberate and be well organized such that it will bring some some quantifiable you know uh, 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 inflow. Uh, these are but but a few of the things I want to say. In fact, this issue of agenda 2030 has to be more within the context of the SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals, and there are about 17 of them. You'll be amazed that a lot more has to do with no anger, zero anger, poverty alleviation, so on and so forth. And for me, I believe that the source of addressing this problem is the credit union. Is the credit union. I don't want to mention programs and activities that uh, governments and, and, and all over the place are doing, but for me, in a developing country, the source and the root cause of many of our problems has to do with the issue of what hunger, 
poverty, educational related issues. And once we actually disseminate information of credit union across the country, you'll be amazed. I believe in that. I believe in that strongly. And perhaps that is where maybe Koa need to do a lot more do a lot more we are doing our own here as, as a um, as a member uh, where we among other things want to monitor when people are coming for facility they're coming for a loan we want to monitor where they are pushing it to okay so we want to find out whether it is indeed you know helping and improving their livelihood or they are still i mean in the same states in the joint we are monitoring that and i guess if we all credit unions and co begins to monitor these things, certainly we'll see notable improvements in the lives of members of credit unions.